Rebecca Chambers' fun summer boat ride abruptly comes to an end when she falls overboard and is struck by the boat. The propeller blades sever one of her legs. I just remember at some point looking down again and just seeing all this blood still running. Man, I just grabbed that shirt and I, boom. I tied it tight, man. You know, I put everything I had into it. You know, my leg was gone. It was just the weirdest feeling. It wasn't pain. It was just, like, pressure. Like, I can't explain it. Rebecca fights to stay alive, but she's losing massive amounts of blood on her way back to shore. They were slapping my face to keep me up, and I was like, stop slapping me. But they were like, no, like, we need to do this. Otherwise, I would have passed out, and that would have been, you know, horrible, because I probably wouldn't have woken up. Rebecca wakes up in intensive care the next day. When I woke up, I, like, looked at my leg, and that's whenever I noticed that it was, like, right below my knee, and I, I freaked out. I prayed and I was, you know what, this is the life that I was, you know, given, you know, so, you know, just embrace it, take it like it is, and, you know, you're like, you're living, and that's my mentality is I should be dead and I'm not. But she's not in the clear yet. The seawater that got into Rebecca's wounds poses a serious risk for bacterial infections. Ocean water has very specific marine bacteria that uh, you have to worry about. And that's why you need to make sure you don't close all the wounds immediately, you wash them out thoroughly, and take her back for probably a second wash out later on. They were worried because of the stagnant water and all the bacteria that you know was in my leg. Because if there was an infection, then they would have to amputate more. So they kept my leg open for about four or five days before they finally decided to close it up. Fortunately, Doctors don't have to amputate more of her leg. You know, there's no infection. That was just like the best news ever. I get to be able to use my, you know, my knee, my leg. It's a lot easier for a prosthetic, you know, for me to be able to do the things I did before. I'm, I'm very blessed, very. I, I thank God every day. You know, I never forget to. You know, I'm, I was given a second chance to live, so, you know, that's an amazing thing. Sanford saved my life by jumping in the water to get me and pulling me out of the water and giving me a tourniquet. Otherwise, I would be dead. I'm just this good old boy from Texas. I thank God that, you know, that in that situation, you know, I kept my cool. Rebecca's still waiting for her leg to completely heal before she can be fitted for a prosthetic. There's no resentment, there's no regret. My mentality is I'm, I'm living. So that's what's keeping me positive is, you know, I was, I'm still alive, I'm still here.